Hey y'all, we're back at Evergarden Equestrian Community. Let's continue the tour. All you gotta do is say the things here are so highly meshed that it is even taking my computer a bit of time to kind of get all the colors and textures together and things like that. So I would imagine that if you were on this land and so you kind of see like how the pictures, some of the pictures take a little bit of time to just pop in. If you come to this land and you're having like any type of issues with your graphics and things like that, I don't feel like you would really have a nice experience. Look how beautiful this is. This space is just as classy as um the upper area that i had showed you guys um at the um the stables like the common area so beautiful look at this tell me this doesn't feel sophisticated because you would be lying look at this look at how pretty this is i love all of the colors everything is so beautiful here so this land has been around for a very, very long time. And so although I am pretty sure that there are many people that have been here, this is actually my first time really venturing around this place. I've never really gone farther than the stables and I didn't even really look at the stables. Look how beautiful these um, pillows are. I didn't really get a look at the stables because I didn't know if I could. So like when I came here, I kind of kept my distance as far as, look at this embroidery. I kind of kept my distance as far as what I actually ventured around to look at because the way that they made um, this land feel, it definitely felt like it was not for people who did not um, reside in the community. And so I just did not want to, again, disrespect the space and just the residents and everything. So I didn't really venture. I definitely didn't venture over here and I didn't venture really into the stables. The stables are huge on both sides. I'm talking turning corners and then turn another corner, like huge. And I didn't even know that they were that um, massive until I actually took the time to kind of just like pan around because I wanted to see what all was here because I wanted to show you guys more than just the stables um, even though just seeing like the main area would be um, really nice I really wanted to give you guys like a really good feeling of what was going on with this land and I was just like if all they have are the stables even though the stables are beautiful I probably like I'll probably do a video on the stables but I really wanted like more spaces to be able to show you guys. And so when I panned out and I realized like I had seen, I think in the covenant or something that it's like spans of like seven Sims. I think they send you like a little, you get like a little notice when you get here about like where you can go and respecting the spaces and things like that. And one of them things said that they had like, it was like over seven Sims. So I'm like, okay, cool. So when I panned out, I'm like, okay, what is this space over here? here i had no clue that all of this was over here these jams are so they look so good look at this cinnamon apple jam i had no clue that the things uh, all this was going to be over here look at these apples look at this love a good shine you guys know how i feel about that so when i panned over here and i saw that these spaces were here. I did take a quick peek in. I'm not gonna yai. I did take a quick peek in because I really wanted to see if this was something that would be worthwhile for us. You know, I didn't want us going no place where you guys know we're gonna look at the baked goods last. You know that because that's why I get my thrills and my kicks from the baked goods. Um, 
I really wanted to just see like, okay, is this some place that we could actually go? Now I would have felt crazy if I'd have walked up in here and they told me you can't be in here if you're not a member because I didn't know whether or not um this these were places that you can go if you're not a member because they're so nice. A lot of times in Second Life, the spaces are so nice that I have a difficult time believing that this is a space that we can go into for free. And that's just me being very, very transparent and very honest. The landscapers in Second Life do such an amazing job from land to land to land that I have a difficult time believing that we get to visit these places for free. Now there are some places I came across a zoo where you have to pay to go to the zoo and it was really really pretty the way that they had everything and I totally understand why they charge and I totally understand why uh, certain places don't charge as well. Um, being in Second Life you can you get to understand like why people do a lot of the things that they do as far as like pricing and I'm never going to hate the hustle at all at all but it's so difficult for me to just believe and understand that people create these spaces for us to go to for free for our enjoyment whenever we feel like it now granted this land is a community land so a lot of the things that they have are created for the community members but they also have a lot of common spaces and the common spaces are for people like you and i that don't reside here but still want to have this type of experience without actually living here and the fact that they would even allow that it's pretty cool in my opinion is this like a cute little bathroom we love a cute little bathroom i love these like navy blue doors and things like that it's super cute i love this bathroom look at the sconces i love these wallpapers the pictures i love it i love it look how pretty this is it is so cute in here such a cute little bathroom tucked in. It doesn't even have to be a big space to be like a super cute little quaint bathroom. I love that. So yeah, I was super glad that they allowed us to even come in here and visit these spaces because they are absolutely magnificent. Look at this ceiling. I love the way that they have the navy blues and the browns mixing. Now, I... I, no, I didn't change it. I'm like, I don't know if I changed the shared environment. I changed it once before we went, um, when we were in the flower area and I haven't changed it again. So the shared environment or the environment that I chose is still very, very nice for this space as well. And I love that. Look at this, some fresh tomato soup with the steam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love it, love it, love it. All of these things are so pretty. You know, you know you're having a good experience in Second Life um, when you are like, I want to stay in this space longer. I really, really do. I love cafes because the cafes are normally small and so they have to like make them well they don't have to make them but they tend to make them very jam-packed with things because they are um smaller than a lot of other spaces look at this like blueberry cake with the blueberry drippings on it oh, so yummy it looks so moist i love it um, so with like the cafes or like the little food spaces, these are sandwiches from Fancy Decor from that set that I missed out on. Come on, Fancy. Put it back for the weekend sale. Put it back. I promise I'm about a fat pack. I promise I'm about a fat pack. I don't like to do fat packs, but I'll do a fat pack for that. Um, The bakery sections are always so pretty big. I, I love the organization. I think that's really what it is. I love that things are so super organized love it love it love it so i actually want to go upstairs i know we normally don't go upstairs but i'm really not ready to leave this space keeping it a thousand so i really do want to just kind of go upstairs and see what else they have upstairs i love this really gives me if you've ever been on the um ralph lauren website this gives me ralph lauren vibes all day long 
I love the feel of this space. This is another beautiful common space with the beautiful books. The bookcases are wonderful. Now, as you guys may or may not know, I talk about how bookcases, I love them when they're not like completely full because you can still like get the essence of the bookcase and it doesn't seem as cluttered. But because this bookcase is actually used as like a library type bookcase, I actually do like that they are filled. But if you notice, they're not filled with completely books. So they have some rows that are filled completely with books, but then they'll have really pretty like accents on top of the books to kind of give it the feel where it's like, it's books, but it's not all books. And I really, really like that. I love, love, love this space. Look how pretty this is. It's so rich. It gives um, manner vibes. That's what it gives. It gives manner vibes. Look at that floor. This floor is brought to, is brought to us by Ultra. Look at that. That that shine. That shine is what I love. It's what I love. Highly polished wood floors and is. So again, we have the beautiful colors. I love how the bookshelves give it a messy slash um, condensed feel, but it's also organized, like messy organization. If that's even like really a thing, but that's what it feels like, like some messy organization. I love these flowers again with the pops of blue. We noticed a lot of the pops of blue when we were um, at the stables in the common area above the stables. And so I am noticing that with this common space as well, they do have a lot of the different red tints as well as the beiges and the browns as well as the pops of blue. So the color theme is being carried over, in my opinion, from the stables into this space. And I really, really appreciate that. I love the lighting in here. I love the sconces. It does have a bit of a... Um, like a classic type feel to it i won't say dated because that's not the feel it is very classic almost as though if someone purchased a manor and they did not change the feel of the manor like a lot of times people will um purchase um a manor and then they'll do like restoration to kind of like bring it up to date but with this it seems like if there was rest restoration done, that everything was kept within the time of um, the space. And I do like that. I really, really like that. It does have a modern flair to it though, with the way that things are decorated. And I really, really appreciate that for this space. I also like how they were able to take a small space and really pack it with a lot of class and sophistication. That, my friend, is something that I really, really appreciate and enjoy this space is so beautiful this space is giving me like apple fall to be totally honest like apple fall in second life i love these apples beautiful oh this space is so decadent i love it love it love it love it i would be in here forever I would be in forever. I'm the type of person I come in here and, and roll one up real quick. Like we ain't nobody smoking no cigars, okay? We smoking it in a cigar, but it ain't a cigar. If you know, you know. So yeah, so the lighting does carry through um, into this space as well with the chandelier. I love that. I love this couch. The seating space has all of the colors um, that are incorporated throughout this whole um eatery because it's like an eatery cafe downstairs but also has like a common area and then up here is just like a common area where it's like you could bring food but it's more like if you wanted a glass of whiskey this would be the place to go like this is where the 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 rich wealthy folks come and have a good chuckle you know what i'm saying that type of vibe here again with this pops of blues that i really really like i love the color theme here everything again very very well thought out very very intricate you can cannot take that away from them everything is very very well thought out thought out even down to like the placement of the objects that are by the books everything is extremely exquisite let's stop here and pick this up another time i'll see y'all soon